Oops, the bell you fell off of the box. So I'm not letting go of my dinner though. So I won't let go of my dinner. Look at you. She's such a good eater and such a good snake. She's going to be shedding pretty soon. You are beautiful, Belle. Yes, you are. Make this video for Chris. He was asking me about my new clown. This is Belle, my new girl. I give all my snakes a variety. They get rat fuzzies and they get mice. I don't see anything wrong with giving them a variety of food. Actually, I consider the mice a treat for them. They're regular diets rats, but I'm making this for Chris so he can see Belle, my new clown. Good job, Belle. Proud of you. Yes, you are. So this is for John, too, the breeder that produced her, to show him at only two feedings she was eating on her own. Frozen thawed from live feeders. It's really easy to do. You just have to be patient with them and reassure them that they're safe when they eat them, when they switch over. There's a trick to it. If anybody ever wants to know how it's done, ask me and I'll tell you. And it's very simple. Saves you a lot of stress. Well, that's a bell eating. See, see? We're not dumb animals. We know how it's done. That's better. No loud TV in the background. That's just bell eating on her own. Plus, I wanted to show John how beautiful she is. She's a gorgeous snake. See, see, I'm a big girl, John. I figured it out. Mom taught me how to eat frozen thawed. It was easy. So she does it by herself. She has since her second feeding. Like I said, it's really easy to switch them over. I've heard more excuses why people won't stop feeding their snakes live and they give them live instead of frozen thawed. Some of the excuses I've heard really don't apply because it's really easy to switch them over. So, you know, if you can, wouldn't you rather not have to worry about a feeder attacking the snake and biting it and scarring it up? Just saying. There's no reason to have them get all chewed on and scarred up. By, and so many people are bad at throwing a live feeder in and walking away and leaving it in there with a snake. You can't do that. You're putting the snake's health at risk. You're stressing the snake out. The snake can get chewed on. That's not proper care. That is absolutely not the way you do it. I just wanted to show everybody how good Belle's doing. See, I learned to eat on my own. I'm not dumb. 